Uh, Mr. Ahmed Raji, a senior advocate of Nigeria, is still with us in the studios. And it's now to you, Gimba Nyota in Lagos. Thank you, Mark. But Mr. Raji, uh, a quick question here. Yes, please. Uh, you've talked yeah. about the, the past of the NJC and what they are meant to do. But there are those who are concerned that the NJC might be overstretched. For instance, in a federation, the NJC appoints um, judges across the states or recommends judges for appointments in the different states, monitors what they do and disciplines them if they err. Is that not too much for the NJC to handle? Well, before the 1999 constitution, each of the regions or states had power to appoint judges and um, the discipline uh, within the states and what have you. But we had nasty experience, and that is why in writing the 1999 constitution, the drafters now say, look, for a better federation, for a better nation, let us have one body that will oversee the discipline of judges all over Nigeria. Nigerian Federation is evolving. If there are issues here and there, perhaps this will enlarge the membership of the NJC in such a way that they can sit in committees. But we have a central organ for uniform standard and for an efficient administration of justice in the country. But be that as it may, we are talking of what the law is today and not what it ought to be. There will always be room for improvement. But look Even the American Constitution went through some amendments and what have you. So that is an argument aside from what is on ground at the moment. Okay, looking at I what may the law is to you, yes. Mr. Raji, if I may come in here, looking at what the law is today, is it possible that the NDC might have missed out some of the petitions or complaints laid against some of the judges, forcing the executive to step in to try to do a cleanup of the system? I don't get your question, please. I said, is it possible that the NGC might have missed out, I didn't say swept under the carpet, might have missed out on some com com complaints or petitions against some of the judges and judicial officers, so much so that the, the executive, I use the executive now, is forced to step in? I, I, I'm not aware of any such situation. And like I said, NGC is composed of responsible people. Very responsible. Retired Justice of Supreme Court. We have the CJN as a, as, as a chairman. And um, we have uh, members of the bar who are there. And I, there's been no allegation by anybody that a petition has been forwarded and it's been swept under the carpet. On the contrary, what I've been told is that some will write the petition, come and defend it. They will just vamos, they will disappear. They won't have the courage to come forward and defend it. And NGC has stepped further. That look, even where a petition has been withdrawn, if we see any real issue of concern, we will still go and entertain it. So it is not just enough. I mean, to, just to show you how proactive they've been trying to be. If the fact that the petition is withdrawn does not mean they will not look into the allegation and see whether they can they will ask the judge in question to come and proffer some answers to whatever has been stated in a withdrawn or abandoned petition. Mr. Raji? So I don't, I have not heard of such where a petition has been swept under the carpet. And if there is, let them bring it out. Mr. They Raji, would you, would, you then, would you then recommend that the NJC suspends a serving judge uh, accused of uh, misconduct pending investigations? Well, if it is, there is a thesis, basis for it, they will order for suspension, especially where the committee has finished its work. Because the procedure there is when there is an allegation, the matter will be submitted to a committee who will look into it and then forward recommendation to the, or findings to the body, to the NJC. At that stage, if there is a prima facie case, before the approving authority decides, they can ask for suspension or to ease out whatever. But mere petition 
without a, a, a the first assessment or a committee assessment. Otherwise, there will be a dangerous precedent here, which means to get the judge suspended, all you need to do is to rush in any petition, whether frivolous or otherwise. So we have to be careful in the way and manner we ask that a judge be suspended. But after the first uh, committee meeting, or after the committee must have uh, looked into the matter, and it's now forwarded findings to the uh, NGC as a body, in deserving cases, they can ask that. George B. B. Now, uh, the, yes. the EFCC chair, uh, acting chair, uh, Ibrahim Magu, did say that commitment is what is needed from just across the board. And this government is giving them that kind of commitment to fight corruption. Do you think that the NJC sees it the way Magu sees it? Well, I quite agree with... Um, uh, the acting chairman of uh, EFCC, and uh, I commend him for his courage and perseverance, despite all odds, because he's trying his best as, a, as, a, as, a, as the acting chair of the body. Whether the EF, I mean, NJC shares the vision or not, I'm not a member of NJC, but I've not seen any conduct from them to the contrary that they do not share his vision. But I'm not answering for them. I'm not a member of NJC. But I've not seen anything to the contrary, that the vision is equally shared by them. What will it take to bring a level of, um, of sanity, or should I say a level of orderliness in the judicial system in the country when it comes to appointment of judges? Because it is believed that if that is um, uh, deregulized, let me put, use that word, if that, if that uh, process is uh, autonomous, that's the word, if that process becomes autonomous, devoid of interference from the government, then we would have a better judicial system. What are your views to that? With, in respect of which one now? With respect of who becomes the CJN, or even who uh -huh. becomes the, uh, the AGF? You mean the, 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 there shouldn't be government interference? Yes. Well, I do not think... I mean, it's a collaborative effort. For example, the appointment of the Chief Justice starts with the F Federal Judicial Service Commission, NJC, then it travels to the President, and then finally it goes to the, the Senate. So all the three key organs of the state, they take part in uh, how the Chief Justice emerges. So, which is a very, very nice, because if somebody goes through the, all those processes, F, Federal Judicial Service Commission, NJC, the executive, and the parliament, I think that is a good system for us. Rather than consigning it to just one organ and say, do as you like, I think uh, uh, collaborative efforts will produce better results than uh, just a, a solo effort by one organ. 